remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Having previously held sensitive positions in Akwa Ibom State and much later in the government of President Muhammadu Buhari, newly appointed Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Mr. Umana Okon Umana, is a household name in the Niger Delta and beyond. It may interest you to know that the Honorable Minister of Niger Delta Affairs brings his wealth of experience to bear in piloting affairs of the ministry within the relatively short period of his stay in office. Mr. Umana Umana takes the mantle of leadership in the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs from his predecessor in office, Senator Godswill Akbabiu. This follows his recent swearing-in alongside six other newly appointed ministers into the cabinet of President Muhammad Buhari. With his new appointments, Mr. Omana is saddled with the onerous task of coordinating development initiatives in the Niger Delta and has pretty little time to achieve desired results, considering that the present administration is already in its twilight days. However, the newly appointed Honorable Minister of Niger Delta Affairs comes with deep wells of resources dwelling inside of him, which he will most likely unlock to draw copious inspiration to chart a new course for the Niger Delta in the shortest time possible. Mr. Omana, a former permanent secretary in charge of budget and two-time commissioner of finance in Akwaibom State, holds a bachelor in economics from the University of Calabar and a master's in business administration with a major in finance. He is also a distinguished alumnus of the Graduate School of Business at the Columbia University and the London Business School. After strutting his stuff in public finance and administration for many years, Mr. Omana was in 2007 appointed secretary to the Akwaibom state government, an assignment which he carried out meritoriously until his resignation in July 2013. In 2016, President Buhari appointed Umana managing director and chief executive officer of the Oil and Gas Free Zones Authority. On assumption of office, the Akwaibom born politician and technocrat designed a new roadmap to guide the oil and gas free zone in its mandate of attracting foreign investments in the nation's oil and gas industry. His reforms were targeted at promoting ease of doing business, which led to digitalization of operations at OXA, reducing maximum time for licensing of operators from 30 days to 21 days, whilst ensuring that renewal of operators' licenses did not exceed a maximum of three days. Under Umana, the internally generated revenue profile was significantly increased to the extent that OXA was able to take care of its recurrent expenditure. In appreciation of the tremendous progress achieved under his leadership, Mr. Omana was reappointed for a second term of three years as Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Oil and Gas Free Zones Authority in December 2019. Throughout his flourishing career as an expert in finance, strategic management, administration and budgeting, the newly appointed Honorable Minister of Niger Delta Affairs has successfully employed the principle of management by objectives to achieve results. As Mr. Omana pointed out to management and staff of the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs on the 6th of July 2022, when he reported for duty for the first time, Performance in the ministry will be results-oriented. The expectation is that under the brief leadership of newly appointed minister, the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs would consolidate on the achievements of previous administrations and take further steps to explore new areas of need in the development trajectory of the Niger Delta region. Inside the Niger Delta, 